Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy. Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to get Photosphere on any Android phone. Now to be honest, I've only tried this on a few phones. I tried this on the S4, the S3, the Note 2, um, and uh, the HTC One. So it's the only phones I've tried it on. If you have an Android phone that it doesn't work on, please leave it in the comment section down below. Uh, but every phone that I have tried it on, I've been trying to get other people with other phones to see if it works, and it seems to be working uh, fine on every device thus far. So, uh, if you don't know what Photosphere is, uh, Photosphere uh, comes from the stock Android camera, um, and it really uh, allows you to take a full 360 degree view kind of like street view that's the best way to describe it it's basically you taking your own street view photos now you also get of course uh, the regular panorama video camera mode and then you also have the ability uh, to switch between all of these things uh, just like the regular nexus devices do so um, it's kind of a cool uh, app and this is how to get it so I'm gonna put a link down on the description below but you will go to this web page um, and of course, I did not develop this app. This was all thanks to XDA developers, and all credit does go to um, uh, Sam Mobile for this one. Um, so when you go to here, you're going to go to gallery.google. Uh, so you're going to download that. And uh, this will also give you the stock gallery app as well, uh, which I'll go over before the end of the video. Um, it's stock, so uh, if say if you don't like the way that uh, Samsung does their gallery or uh, HTC Sense does their gallery, you can kind of get a more stock version of it without needing to root your device or anything like that or buy the expensive uh, Google edition. So uh, you're going to wait five seconds, then you're going to click the little uh, green button right here, and then that will allow you to download it. I'm on my Chrome browser, so it asked me before doing it. Otherwise, you would uh, click. Um, otherwise, you could click no. I already have this, so I'm not going to re-download it. But uh, you would just click OK, and then you're going to have it download right here at the top. Now, an important thing to note is you can't install these apps unless you do one thing, and that is uh, change your security setting. So, you're going to go to uh, your settings, and then you're going to go into more settings, and then you're going to go into security and you're going to click this part right here, unknown sources. Now, um, if you ever do this, make sure that you also do this one, verify apps. Verify apps will allow you to uh, make sure that you're not downloading any uh, anti like viruses or spyware or anything like that. Android, you pretty much cannot get viruses from the Play Store. 99.5% uh, 99 of all viruses come from unknown sources apps that you download, you know, through a download or any of these other, you know, free downloaders that uh, your friends might have told you about. Uh, so be careful with those. Uh, as long as you verify the app, you should be fine. Um, otherwise, you know, just tread lightly. So uh, once you do that, you can go, you will have the download right here at the top. Uh, once you click unknown sources, you can just click on it. Uh, since I did not download it right now, my old one is right there. So I would basically click this one and I would click install and this is the verified app one. So it is verifying the app to make sure that it's not threatening and uh, that it goes through okay. So again, this will install the gallery as well as the uh, camera app that you just saw me using. So um, once it installs both of those, mine is just installing it again. Um, once it installs both of those, oh, sorry. Once it installs both of those, you're gonna, you can hit open if you want and then you will go into the regular gallery. So this is the uh, regular gallery from stock Android. Um, and then uh, you also have the still I have the Samsung gallery one so you can kind of see how they are different also important to note your uh, camera will download into um, a different camera folder than your regular camera one so that's my regular camera from Samsung and then this is my Google camera and at the same time this is my regular, oops, on this one they have the 
sorry, I'm using a um, I'm using a launcher, so now it should show the same for you guys. Now it should show differently. Okay, so there we go. You have your regular gallery from Samsung, and you have your stock Android uh, gallery. All right, guys. Uh, so that was just a little bit on how these two um, on how to get Photosphere uh, for your device, and just to show you what it looks like. Actually, uh, see, so for Photosphere, I would recommend uh, definitely checking it out more on your um, on your uh, Android Gallery one, simply because the uh, that one will not show correctly. So now, once we look at the Photosphere version, though, now I can see this correctly. So watch, and kind of just get a 360 degree of my room, and you can kind of see how it all looks. You know, from everywhere. Zoom into cloud here, you know. And see, it looks pretty good. There are some artifacting sometimes, you know, depending on how well you're doing. I wasn't holding it too steady right here, so as you can see it really clearly there. But if you kind of don't point it out, um, you can generally kind of see uh, pretty good. So yeah, guys, um, that was how to get photos here on any Android phone. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy.